Aw, look how cute these two are in their summer outfits. I like some of the prehistoric outfits that I found. They're just a little bit old, though, so hopefully nothing happens in the game that breaks them. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolf Challenge. So the rules for this challenge will be in the description below, as well as a link to the playlist for all of the videos in the series. So, if you didn't see the first episode, you might want to go back and watch that for an explanation of all of the rules and how the death rolls will, will work. But we are doing death rolls for children, newborns, and babies. So, if that is a trigger for you, I suggest you not watch the series. It's kind of like the ultimate decades challenge and the history challenge combined in a few unique ideas of my own. So we're starting out in this household. Uh, Christy Bowers is rampaging right now, along with Jonathan, although Jonathan is trying to regain control. Then we also have Lamont. And unfortunately, last episode, Lamont's wife passed away. So his two children, Gabrielle and Caitlin, are here, and they are now infants. And Christy has to take care of them, as well as her own two little babies, Caden and Isis. So let's see if Jonathan can regain control. Yeah, that usually doesn't work the first time. And of course, he's going to run around and break everything down here. Come on, Christy. You have to regain control. You have to take care of the babies. Now, it used to be that the werewolves, when they were rampaging, would actually feed the newborns, but they couldn't feed the infants. And for some reason, that went away. All right. Finally, we're turning back into a normal human because the full moon is over. And we didn't even get credit for experiencing a full moon. Great. Oh, okay, it did get credit. So we're Emissary of the Collective. Okay, so Jonathan is now a friend of the Moodwood Collective. We just have to make him a member. Okay, and it's actually Caden and Isis's birthday. So it'll make it a whole lot easier if they're not newborns because they won't constantly be waking up the infants. Happy birthday, Caden, and you are Wiggly. Oh, and... Caden is a dormant wolf. Well, that's unfortunate. And happy birthday, Isis. Isis is intense. And also a dormant wolf. Well, we are probably not going to have these babies for very long. Now, we're probably not going to win, but I'm going to try and challenge Christopher for the pack leadership. Even though Christopher is supposedly not as good as Rory, he's still incredibly hard to beat, even if you're an alpha. Okay, no, he did not win. However, Christopher is now beat up. And I think the only way that I was able to do this before was to... Oh, I can't challenge him, though, because I can't spar. Okay. So, Jonathan basically can't fight Christopher because he doesn't have transformation mastery yet. Well, now we know all of the tunnel paths for Christy, and she can start reading books. But for now, we'll just take care of the babies and go to sleep. Oh, Jonathan is active. That is actually a good trait. Well, look, it's Agnes. Maybe we can try and get some werewolf sympathy from her. I doubt it, though. Time to make the rounds again. Yeah, I'm not in a hurry to get Christy pregnant again because having four infants is a little tough. So we're not getting very much else done. Oh no, it's an earthquake! Or volcano. Oh, it's the volcano. Wow, hopefully no fires. Well, since we had our first event, we are going to have to do death rolls. So it is summer, so it's not winter. And I have entered all the traits here. I have copied the rolls, and we are going to roll. All right, as I suspected, the dormant wolves, unfortunately, did not survive. All the others survived. Um, unfortunately, infants who are dormant wolves are not likely to survive. 
So we will probably try to get Christy pregnant again since both of her babies have passed. That's so sad. Okay, we have Transformation Mastery for Jonathan. Now we can challenge Christopher for Pack Leader. Not that he will win. Now we're going to have Jonathan challenge Christopher and see if Jonathan can make Christopher be beaten up or injured. And then maybe Lamont can take over pack leadership. Of course, Jonathan lost. Um, it doesn't look like Christopher's beaten up either. All right, let's see if we can do it anyway. I didn't think so. He's not even beaten up this time. Oh, Christy is going to be cheerful and she's uncomfortable. I don't get that. How can you feel really cheerful when you're uncomfortable? What? Self-sufficiency. Okay. I was about to say, I just somber howled. Why is he automatically demoted? I guess because he was barely a Delta. Oh, avoid public displays of beastly gluttony. Um. Try not to devour things in sight of non-werewolves, but he's not in front of any non-werewolves. He's completely underground. Avoid being mean to non- Okay, so actually, huh. Yeah, I don't get that one. Okay, that helped. Oh no, it's another earthquake. That was a short one though. Okay, going back to our spreadsheet, we will have to do death rolls again. And looks like everyone survived. We got really high numbers that time, except for one of the infants got a 67. But since they are not a dormant or a greater wolf, 67 is good enough. Oh, and Christy is eating for two. So we are expecting our next set of cubs. Oh no, Jonathan dislikes fitness. That's not good. Apparently Lamont has a conflicting trait with his energetic lifestyle. I think it's because he's a bookworm, but he's also active. So I guess you can be an active bookworm, right? I have noticed, however, that you can get conflicting traits when you have a self-discovery. I have had Sims that are neat get the squeamish trait and that should not be possible those conflict oh it's the infant's birthdays good no 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 feeding them come on just age them up happy birthday caitlin you're now going to be a toddler who is silly happy birthday gabrielle and gabrielle is angelic body training seems a little weird for werewolves but hey they have to learn sometime that they shouldn't go in their beds or in their clothes. Well, Christy finished reading all the books, so she is also emissary of the collective as well. Ah, look how cute these two are in their summer outfits. I like some of the prehistoric outfits that I found. They're just a little bit old, though, so hopefully nothing happens in the game that breaks them. So Christy is now part of the Moonwood Collective as well. Okay, here we go again. Trying to challenge Christopher for the pack leadership. Nope, not this time. Christopher is not even hurt. So this one's not going to work either, but I have to try once a day. Otherwise, we will never get anyone to complete their aspiration. No, we can't win this one. I think you probably have to be an alpha anyway. Oh, this time he's beat up, though, at least. Oh, no, Jonathan is clumsy. Oh, no, it's another earthquake. Wow, it's almost the end of the week, and we're getting so many earthquakes. We only had one the first week. And that means we have to make another death roll, unfortunately. So let's see who survives. Looks like everybody survives again. So I think that we just have a lot of good qualities. And all of these Sims, at least none of them have the dormant trait. So as long as they get a relatively high score, see, even the toddler with a 49 survives. So it won't be too bad unless we get a lot of wolves with the dormant trait. Um, 
Lamont has not been demonstrating diplomacy. These things seem to be kind of random. Yeah, I do that. Will to resist all the time. Why is he getting bad diplomacy marks? Whatever. Wait, Christopher is still beaten up from last time. And I am not. I wonder, can I win this one? Now, I ended up being uncomfortable at the end. Okay. I did not win that one. Now we get some food. Okay, Lamont is indoorsy. I forgot about the exercise machines. This, I guess, counts as gym equipment. We'll make them indoorsy if they use it a lot. I don't really like that. Technically, this is outdoorsy. Oh no, it's another earthquake already? It's the end of the week. Come on, give them a break. All right, well, we've been lucky so far. Unlucky in the number of rolls that we've got, but lucky in the actual numbers. Okay, so we have to roll again. Oh, and we lost Lamont. So we also lost Christie's pregnancy. Okay, so I forgot, I think, last time to add this. But the fact that she's pregnant means that you're supposed to roll for the pregnancy and use the unborn stage. So we lose the pregnancy and we also lose Lamont, unfortunately. Okay, so I cleared Christy's pregnancy, but we can immediately try again. Oh, this guy is actually not a werewolf. Okay. What, Christy's unnoticed now? For uh, maintaining pack participation. Okay, I guess we have to go donate some stuff. Yeah, we should try Christopher with Christy. Right. She's not going to win, but she can only do this when she's not pregnant. So we might as well. Yeah, she definitely lost. What? Jonathan has not been diplomatic. Okay. This is ridiculous. I think it's bugged because they are definitely doing what they're supposed to do. Okay, I will use the will to resist. And this better take away my notice. Or does it not count unless it works? No, that counted. Okay, I have no idea why he's being on notice in the first place. Well, hopefully we don't get any more earthquakes in the last 30 minutes so this is the end of the week the end of this season and we will be going to the next house on the list and playing with the renegades or the wild things so we do need to do one more death roll so hopefully that one goes well all right so this is the last roll for this family and we have Oh, we lost Christy. So, Jonathan is going to have two toddlers that are not his. I don't know if this line is going to work out. We might not have anyone survive. And if that's the case, we have to start afresh. Which means this collection down here that I have completed won't count. Um, actually, no, we are missing the skull for some reason. I didn't notice that we didn't have the top of the skull. We have everything else except for the top of the skull. Okay. And they are just finishing up their day. And hopefully, like I said, no more earthquakes. If we do an earthquake for midnight, we'll have to roll again. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.